where we talked about Addison's disease as a hyposecretion of adrenal cortex hormones. When we taught Cushing's, we're talking the exact opposite, okay? That's all we gotta worry about here. So here's our adrenal, here's our kidney, here's our adrenal gland, here's our adrenal medulla, here's our adrenal cortex. So remember, when we talked Addison's, we were talking hypo. Now that we're talking Cushing's, we're talking hyper secretion of these adrenal cortex hormones, okay? So everything that we talked about in uh, Addison's, we're, we're, it's, we're having the exact opposite issue here with our um, Cushing's disease. So like I said, it's hyper secretion of glucocorticoids leading to elevated cortisol, okay? So cortisol is one of our glucocorticoids and we're having too much of it being secreted out into the body, okay? So what's gonna happen here, okay? There is a greater incidence in women and it can be um, life-threatening if we do not treat this um, and provide support to these patients, okay? So here we are, Ad Cushing's disease is hypersecretion of adrenal hormones, specifically the glucocorticoids and cortisol. Okay, so this can lead to hypertension with signs of CHF, okay? We get the moon face and the buffalo hump, okay? So the buffalo hump, so here's our patient. Here's their head. Here, let me start over. <laughs> There's our patient. So the buffalo hump, so here's a head, okay? Buffalo hump is this. Okay, it's a little hump on the back of their neck, um, and that's referred to as the buffalo hump. The moon face is just like a kind of swollen looking face, okay? So kind of like almost like a cartoon face, right? Um, they get a very swollen face, and they get the buffalo hump, okay? So where we're getting all that weight loss with Addison's disease, here in Cushing's disease, we're getting all this excessive weight gain. The patient begins to feel very fragile, and their skin is very fragile. They get striae on their abdomen and thighs. So here's an abdomen. Striae are like these little, you've probably seen them on, on patients or on, on other people. Here would be a belly button. So the striae are these little lines that kind of work their way up, okay? We get kind of the, uh, the opposite uh, electrolyte imbalances. We get hypokalemia, hypocalcemia, hypernatremia, and hyperglycemia. So remember, when we have hypernatremia, what's gonna happen is we're gonna start retaining fluid, okay? So we have all this sodium in our blood, and we're gonna start pulling water with that, okay? And then we have hyperglycemia. Now think, if you've ever given steroids to one of a patient post-op or for whatever reason, what happens? Well, you go back and you check their blood sugars in just a minute, and, and you check their blood sugars earlier, and they were 120, okay? You go back, okay, you give um, you give a steroid here, and then you come back, and in, in, on your next blood sugar check, you check the blood sugar, and it's 320, okay? So steroids play this effect in, in elevating blood sugar, okay? Steroids also decrease immunity. Okay, so with our patients with Cushing's, we need to be looking at uh, immune responses and things like that, okay? So that's kind of what we're gonna be looking for in our patient who has Cushing's disease. We get this excess cortisol in our, in our system and we're gonna see the effects of like a steroid, okay? We're gonna see the opposite effects that we're gonna see in our hypokalemic patient. As with Addison's, any time that we have um, elevations with these types of things that are gonna affect cardiovascular status, we want to be monitoring electrolytes and cardiovascular status very closely. Like I said, it's gonna make the skin very fragile. It's gonna decrease our immunity, so we wanna provide very good skin care and meticulous wound care, okay? Um, the patient has decreased immunity, so we wanna do any, anything that we can to prevent any further um, immune issues or um, with our patient. We wanna provide client safety, what we can do here is, is an adrenalectomy, and that's an actual surgical removal of the adrenal gland. Um, and so if we're having this hypersecretion here, we can actually do this adrenalectomy, um, and then we can provide them the hormones that they need 
uh, something we kind of go almost into like an Addison's type issue where they're hypo um, with the with the hormones, the steroid hormones, and so we can actually provide them the hormones that they need. So we want to prevent the, the client from getting any sort of infection. We just talked about that with our immunity issues. And it's often caused by um, a tumor on the adrenal gland or pituitary gland. Okay, so if we get a, a pituitary um, or an adrenal gland hormone, this can actually lead to uh, Cushing's disease, okay? So that's kind of what you need to know here with this. And then we'll look here again at some of these things that we talked about. Here's, here's kind of what we're going to see in our patient. Remember, we have that round face. They can also get the buffalo hump back here. They're going to have hypertension. They're going to have obesity. Here's the striae. They kind of work their way up their abdomen. Okay. And then they could have ulcers, skin wasting. Remember, we talked about the fragile skin, osteoporosis. If you if you listen to the Med of the Day podcast or have the 140 Meds book that we have, 140 Must Know NCLEX Meds, or the Med of the Day podcast, or you're a member of the MedMaster course, you know that, that um, these steroids, they can cause, um, remember we talked soggy bones, and then we talked hyperglycemia. So we're going to see this osteoporosis here. We're going to see obesity. Um, and so these are a lot of the things that we're going to see in our patients that have uh, Cushing's disease, okay? So Cushing's, one way to think of it, uh, and this might not be very sensitive or something or, or, or anything, but if you talk Cushing, like Cush, um, plush, Cush, um, the patient who has Cushing's is going to gain the weight uh, and be larger. So um, Cushing, Cushy, uh, that's kind of a, a way to remember that. Um, so... That's kind of Cushing's disease. That's how it differs from Addison's disease. The biggest thing I want you to do is you can print this uh, little uh, cheat sheet out here. And then I think this uh, chart here would be a lot of help for you. If you print this out and kind of hang on to this while you're going over your endocrine system, I think it will be of great help to you. If you guys have any questions,